hello welcome to another video today i will be discussing about the attachments of muscles ligaments and other structures this is left hip bone first i will discuss the attachment on the iliac crest let us go from the lateral lip to the medial lip the anterior two-third of the lateral lip in the ventral segment it gives origination of external oblique muscle the entire intermediate surface of ventral segments of iliac crest gives the origination of internal oblique muscle in the medial lip anterior two-third of the ventral segments give origination of transverse abdominis posterior one-third on the lateral lip it gives origination of latissimus dorsi and posterior one-third on the ventral segment towards its medial lip gives origination of quadratus lumborum talking about the dorsal segment on its laterally surface including the gluteal surface of ilium posterior to the posterior gluteal line this surface gives origination of gluteus maximus whereas on the medial aspect on the posterior segment of iliac crest gives erector spinae on the medial surface of including medial lip on the dorsal segment it gives origination of erector spinae now i'm talking about the gluteal surface of ilium let us divide the different areas by a posterior gluteal line anterior gluteal line and inferior gluteal line the area in between posterior gluteal line and anterior gluteal line is originated by a gluteus medius muscles the area in between anterior gluteal line and inferior gluteal line the larger part is originated by gluteus minimus on the anterior superior iliac spine is originated by a muscle sartorius also it is attached by a lateral end of inguinal ligament the knots is related by the ileal blood vessels and nerve the anterior inferior iliac spine is originated by which is here the straight head of rectus femoris whereas the shallow group above the acetabular margin gives the reflected head of rectus femoris the margin of acetabulum gives the attachment of acetabular labrum which continues with the attachment of capsules of hip joint whereas on the ends of lunar surface of acetabulum is transverse by a transverse ligament the transverse acetabular ligament is continuous attachment by the ligament of pit of head of the femur on the roof including posterior inferior iliac spine gives origination of piriformis muscle this is scale spine 
above and the lateral surface of the scale spine is originated by superior gemelli muscles and the shallow groove just above the scale tuberosity is originated by inferior gemelli muscle. The intervening part called here is attached by uh, obturator internus muscles whereas the ligament on the scale spine is attached by sacrospinous ligament on the medial margin of scale tuberosity is attached by a sacrotuberous ligament now talking about the attachment on the scale tuberosity as i said in the previous video this is transverse raise this is oblique raise and this is vertical raise on the lateral surface of upper quadrangular surface is attached by a semi membranous muscles whereas on the medial surface of the upper quadrant is attached or originated by a conjoint muscles semi tendinous and biceps femoris muscles whereas on the lower lateral surface in the triangular is attached by a adductor magnus which includes these muscles attachment on the surface of ischiopubic ramus which is here whereas on the medial part of lower triangular on the scale tuberosity is attached or filled by a fibro fatty tissues which act as a cushion like effects while on sitting now on the antero inferior aspect including the schem and the pubic bone the lateral border a body of schem is called abductor tubercle is originated by coditus femoris muscle on the larger part of obturator membrane and the lateral surface of the body of ischium is originated by obturator externus on the lateral surface of ischiopubic ramus from the medial to lateral on medially is attached or originated by gracilis muscles lateral to gracilis on its surface is originated by adductor brevis on the anterior surface of body of pubis below the pubic crest this part is originated by adductor on the lungus pubic crest is attached by medial end of inguinal ligament on the pubic tubercle is attached by conjoint tendon on the pectineal surface of superior ramus is originated by pectineous muscles the surface nearby iliopubic eminence is originated by psoas major muscles the pelvic surface on the ilium above the arcuate line this larger part is originated by iliacus muscle the articular surface is articulated by the sacrum forming sacroiliac joint on the ilial tuberosity the ligament sacroilial attached over here now talking about the inner aspect in the ischium and pubis bone the larger part on the obturator membrane and pelvic surface of body of ischium is originated by obturator internus muscles and 
inner surface of scale spine is originated by coccygeus muscle anterior to these coccygeal muscles there is a muscles which insert it called posterior part of levator ani on the medial margin of scopebic ramus is attached by scio-cavernous muscles in the male which makes more prominent and everted outward due to this muscles attachment on posterior surface of body of pubis is originated by anterior part of levator ani at the mid of inner surface of scopebic ramus is originated by superficial transverse perineal muscles at this level on this surface inner ward is originated by insphincter urethra muscles hope from this video is helpful for understanding the attachment of muscles ligaments and other structure which are related on the entire hip bone see you next video about the topic of ossification hip bone till then goodbye take care